All right, so this video is hopefully going to be quickly show you how to set up a Google site. It sounds like a lot of you know how to do it, but this is how I do it. So I go over here to the waffle and I choose sites, which is here on mine, but you can also just type in Google sites and that's going to pop up Google sites sign in. And if you're logged in on your Chromebook or your, uh, your, your, uh, your Chrome browser, it should bring you right to your own personal site. That's my logo up there. All right, so you can use a format if you want to, but I'm going to start with the blank one. So I just click on blank. Now let's imagine my subject is Martin Luther King Jr. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do as soon as this thing loads is I'm going to give my site a name, Martin, M-A-R-T-I-N, uh, Luther King Jr. All right, and then I'm going to start designing my site. Now first, you know you have a home page. This is your home page. But you have to add for this for the assignment four more pages. And to add pages, you're going to click on pages right there. And then go down here to our plus sign. You're going to add a page that is an introduction. All right, that's one page. You're going to add a second page. That's going to be called era. That's the era in which your person lived or you know the group the group existed. All right. A third page is going to be civil rights. Uh, and you're going to, uh, that's where you're going to talk specifically about the person's civil rights efforts as they're an icon or whatever they did. And finally, your fourth page is going to be the legacy, L-E-G-A-C-Y. So all your pages, and you see in my format, they're all showing up up there. All right, so back to my home page now. Now I'm going to show you how to insert items. So first, let's talk about the title is going to be Martin... Luther King Jr. All right. Now I can grab these circles here. I can make it wider if I want to or skinnier. All right. Let's say I want to change the background. I change my image. All right. And I can select an image. There's a bunch of ways to do it. Now you can go, you can, if you have a, a, the URL of a site, you can search for something right from here. I have albums that I've set up. And I have a Google Drive. So I've already saved a couple of photos into, uh, well, it's not there, is it? Um, so let's go look at my recent and see if it pops up in recent. So here, yeah, so I had MLK at DC. I'm going to select that, and that becomes my background image for my what's called header. Now you're also going to want to add some text. So the way to add text is click on text box, and it drops down there. And this is my text box, okay, T-E-X-T -E box, all right. And this is some general information about MLK Jr., all right. Now, you can actually change the fonts of these. So if I want to click on the this is my text box line, you can click on this drop down here, and it'll give you, I can make it a title or a heading or a subheading. So now it's really, really big. I can change this one if I click on the line, normal text, subheading if I want to. All right, and I can change the font. This is actually relatively new. I can change the font if I want to. So I can do a lot of customization there. All right, I can make it, I can make it skinnier if I grab those circles. And I can put a picture next to it, for example, if I want to add an image here. I can say upload an image. And let's upload one from my desktop chosen I've already downloaded it there and so here's my image and I can move this thing around click and drag by moving it around I can put it there and again I can make this one bigger grab those circles make it maybe a little bit wider if I need to make it fit in nicely I can also attach it to a text box or vice versa so if I'm in the text box you'll see right there are those little dots if you click and grab those dots you can grab it and then attach it to your picture all right you can actually even grab it if you want to put it on top you can put it on the bottom all right you can't put it left or right all right so you can just get rid of it if you want to you can grab the picture if you want to and just attach it to your text box all right there's ways you can add then down below you can add a youtube video for example so let's say i have a youtube and i want to show let's say this one so you click on share and you grab the URL, so copy the URL. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back to my website. 
So in here, then you're going to paste it in control V bang, and then select it, select it. All right. So now I have an embedded video. All right. You can actually attach the video to the text. You can attach the video to the picture. I'm going to leave mine down here. All right, I want to make it a little bit bigger though. So I'm going to grab those corners and make it bigger. I'm going to grab this and make it bigger. All right. And let's center this thing up. If you see on the bottom left and right, it shows me that I'm centered up now. So there we go. You can add straight from Google Slides. If you have a slide presentation you did, you can add that in if you want to. You can add a map maybe showing where he lives. So if I want to say this, enter a location, Atlanta... Uh, Georgia, click on it. All right, there's Atlanta. I hit select and there's my map shows where he is. I can actually click and drag this say to my picture. And there it is. Let's say I have the exact address of the picture. All right, so there's all kinds of stuff you can attach to this thing. And this allows you to play with the layouts as well. All right, so you have to have, like I said, you're gonna have a home page, which is what you're looking at here. You're going to add your four tabs and then you can add text. You can add images. You can add video. Uh, you can add maps. You're making it a website. So it should be an interesting website that is more than just text. That's a little bit of text, but really tells the stories through pictures and videos and maps. All right. Good luck.